to show you how to use and the uh, grasshopper component for unfold surface here. So we have a uh, two grasshopper component. Once you have uh, download the file, uh, the zip file from our website, and then unzip it, and then copy then the grasshopper component to this directory. So this is actually the directory that you need to copy, and uh, the library here, and then you have the two grasshopper com component. On this is actually then the uh, DL used by the grasshopper is for version uh, seven. So and once you have that here, and then you can see in the surface selection, and then in the util, you have two grasshopper component, S unfold B wrap and G unfold mesh and B wrap. So and for example here, so we test this part, we just create this grasshopper component. And then there's a, a bunch of input parameter that we need to set. And this is how to click the parameter, then I have already set them four. And now we uh, set this one here. So, and this is actually the point. So this is actually the BRAP surface you want to unfold. And then the point here is the starting point or the selection point here that when you use uh, in the Rhino command line, you pick it here. Normally is the point that you should be put it here. The starting point must be on the surface. Otherwise it doesn't make any sense you're gonna get the wrong results. And this is actually the, the curve. This curve here is that uh, we use for then the direction calculation. Basically, it tell us then what the kind of shape roughly is a rectangular shape. If you use a rectangular shape, like, and then this curve, the end point, to calculate then the vector, and the vector should align within the uh, roughly the rectangular shape of this uh, uh, selected surface here. So, uh, so we, we set this parameter here first here, this is actually then the input. And this is the starting point here, already have uh, calculated here, and this is actually the point here, this is that I have calculated, selected, and this is actually then we call them the uh, direction curve here. So, and this direction curve should be uh, selected for multi-phase BRAP surface. If it is if it is single-phase BRAP surface, uh, we don't need that. And then if you select this one here, and you see then the end point of this uh, curve is going to be used for uh, calculate a, a vector. And this vector showing that you see here, and this is uh, roughly the rectangular shape of this uh, uh, BRAP surface you have selected. It's not exactly, but roughly it should be fine here. So uh, internally program again to adjust it, but again to get better results, you have then the good direction. And if you choose then, for example, this one to this uh, slanting one here, and then it will not uh, work well here. You're going to get give you the results, but it's not good. And then have this curve. This curve is actually the curve that you want to unfold together with the uh, surface. So you can choose a uh, multi curve here. And the curve must be on the surface. And you have, you can select all these curve. And then you have point here, a similarly point must be on the surface, and they want to unfold together within the uh, surface here. So then you have this one defined. Then you just connect to this one here. So this is a curve here, and this is direction curve, and this is the starting point, and this is actually then the BRAP surface. Now you see in the calculate step four, you see here, and then uh, it's a heavy calculation for this kind of uh, surface. And uh, then you can get the result here uh, on the XY plane. And uh, yeah, now, now it's, it's almost there. Okay, it's done. So you see here, and then we can go back to the parameter and then we select then the point here, 
and we select the curve and then we select then the curve here so we just connect and this is a boundary curve and this is the curve that you selected uh, to be unfold together with the surface and this is similarly the point here and then you can see here if you zoom here you, you see here this is the point here and this is actually the curve and this is the boundary curve and that's the result you're going to get. And this is actually the same result uh, should be when you uh, use the, the Rhino command line. And this is actually the, called the Einz Unfold Surface. It works the same way. That's for today. If you have any question, please let me know and send us an email. Thank you. Bye.